Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for joining me today. I'm Spagiver, this is Spagiver Backpacking, and I'm out here today to talk with you guys about a product that has changed a little bit uh, from a company that I actually really like, and I'm, I've been using quite a bit of their stuff. So you first saw me talk about Survivewear back when I did a couple of uh, reviews on first a first aid kit, and then, uh, I don't normally carry that that bigger first aid kit with me, and so I've pared down my first aid kit. But what I do carry in my bag here, so this is the uh, just kind of my ditty bag that has my toilet stuff, my first aid stuff, all in there. And so one of the things that I I do carry that that is out of the uh, the bigger kit is the emergency blanket. So this blanket is uh, it's pretty big. It's reusable, it's 52 by 82. Outside it is olive green and then it's got the reflective silver. So you could use it as a tarp, you could put it over yourself, whatever. Um, another piece that I use that's kind of a, an emergency piece is this. Um, and it actually came with this paracord uh, bracelet type thing with it attached to it. I don't use paracord and so I did away with that. And so what I've got here is a ferro rod, uh, a magnesium ferro rod, and then it's got a scraper, striker, and a little bit of a, a multi-tool of sorts there. And then it's got an emergency whistle. When you blow really hard on it, uh, you don't actually have to blow that hard, but when you blow on it pretty good, it really uh, gets going. But the cool thing about this, you take off the little keychain or take the pieces off and so you've got the one side that acts as a scraper. Ah, there we go. So you can scrape off and get a little pile of the shavings and then use the other end, get a good thing of sparks going and light it. And so even if you've got a little bit of wet kindling, uh, you can get it going. So that is something that I carry. But one of the pieces, you guys have seen me use it in many of my trip videos is the wet wipes. Did them in smaller, like a four pack of these rather than that big, big one. one. And so, uh, yeah, let's do another review on these. So, I've used wet wipes for years. Every time I go out backpacking, used to go like by the, the dollar store and you'd get something like this. And, uh, you know, they're relatively small, relatively thin. Uh, you know, one. One isn't gonna clean your entire body. You're gonna go through quite a few. Then uh, I did the video where I showed these ones, the biodegradable ones that within 30 days, or actually 28 days, they're compostable in 28 days, they start breaking down. Uh, you could bury them and they're actually going to decompose unlike these, which because of the plastics that are in them actually last for years. So they're gonna stick around for a long time and be a much more uh, detrimental impact to the environment. Then you've got these. So these are really nice. Let me show you the size of one of these and I'll do a comparison next to the other one. Okay, so this is the size that these are. Let me put this 
this one, which is a, a large one comparatively speaking. I'll uh, attach it up in the corner. So you can see it is a lot bigger. If I go side by side, you can see these things are not comparable in size. And you can pretty much see through this one already where this one really is like cloth and works really well. So I like using these, but this package is pretty big, pretty bulky, pretty heavy. And so what I was having to do was pull out the number of wipes that I was going to use, pull them out, put them into a Ziploc and take them along. Well, they thought about that, and so now they've come up with smaller packages. You can order these in sets of four. They're available on Amazon. So you get the set of four. It's 15 wipes, uh, whereas this was 32. So 15 wipes, which I use anywhere from two to three a day. I like to use them to clean up after after a long day of hiking. Uh, if I'm wearing shorts, my, my legs are usually black, just covered in dirt, and so I used to... I use these to wipe up, to clean up, get the salt off of me. Um, you know, as I get into to my quilts, getting that gunk off of me before I get into my quilts is really a good way to keep my quilts lasting longer and make sure that the oils and stuff aren't getting into the down and aren't really contaminating the down and losing loft. Really important thing to do. So with 15 pieces, that's good for about a week. So if you're doing like a five to seven day trip, one of these is gonna be perfect. It's gonna be exactly what you need while you're out there. Otherwise, you know, 15 pieces may still be a little much for a weekend trip. And so you still may wanna parse it out and take them out and put them into a Ziploc bag. But this is a smaller package and less likely to open it up, have it rip or something, and then lose 32 of them. You've only got 15 in here. Uh, and you're gonna go through them quicker, which is, you know, just the, the way that they're packaged in here is really nice. The fact that they're decomposable and biodegradable. I did a little bit of talking on the last video uh, about sanitary habits and people cr contracting uh, what they perceive to be waterborne illnesses, Giardia or Cryptosporadium. Uh, I don't think that it necessarily is that. I think it's a lack of hygiene, a lack of sanitary out on the trail. And by having these, you can really help keep yourself clean, help keep yourself sanitary, and make sure that you're avoiding some of those situations. So we're getting packed up, ready to head out, but I need to filter some water. And uh, it brought me to a, a thought that I wanted to share with you guys. So. I've seen some videos recently where some people were talking about filtering water and uh, in particularly talking about the advantages of this bag, this, this knock bag over like a Sawyer's bag. And one of the things that people have talked about, and it's been several people, it's not just one, is that you know with the Sawyer bag you had to put your mouth on it and blow it up and so you were introducing a risk that you were putting your mouth on untreated water uh, potentially. Um, I don't see that as, as very much of a risk. Here's, here's my thought. You're probably not filtering from horribly, horribly polluted water systems. If you are, then yeah, I totally get it. That's true. But most of these water sources that we're dealing with out here are pretty good. Um, and have you ever gone swimming? Have you ever gone swimming in a lake or a pond or a stream? You're getting water on your mouth. A lot of people open their mouths. I don't think it's as big a risk as people think. So honestly, why people get sick when they're out in the backcountry, a lot of times has more to do with their sanitary chores or sanitary efforts or lack thereof than polluted water systems. Um, you know, if you're taking care of business, make sure you're cleaning up afterwards. I know a lot of people carry the either uh, the alcohol, the gel alcohol stuff, um, or some sort of wipes. I use, <laughs> I use the wet wipes from Survive Wear. Those things are huge. You're able to clean up really well with those things. And so you're, you're taking care of that sanitary part of it. And as long as your hands are clean, 
especially after you've gone and done your business, there's a lot less likelihood of transferring it to your water or touching your face, touching your mouth and getting it into your system. I think the fears on filtering water and touching a dirty water source or having a couple of drops of dirty water run into your, your bottle of clean water are a whole lot less likely than you didn't wash your hands and that's where it's coming from. Eight ounces, 14 and a half ounces. These things are eight inches by 12 inches. Really nice, nice product. All right, guys. I hope you guys check these out. I hope you like them. I really, really like them. They can be used uh, all over your body, but the one other place I absolutely use these is after doing my business. You know, you, you go off trail, you find a spot, you take care of business. These things are awesome. Uh, unlike these ones that I was using that, you know, you can kind of see through here, you know, you don't want your finger coming through while you're down there cleaning up because uh, now you got to clean off your hand. Yeah, that's just, that's a mess. These ones are nice and strong. The Survive Wear wipes are strong, durable, and really just the surface area make sure you don't have any fingers overlapping. All right, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't before, check those out. They are definitely something to keep an eye on. I will see you guys down the trail.